Hello, hello, hello. We're live. What's up, everyone? We don't wait for magic to happen. We create it. Every new stage needs something new. We are alive. Something we are live. What's going on? Yet sometimes it makes you wonder, what's next? Just turned on my headphones. You just caught the, the beginning. Inspiration. So this is the first time that I'm actually going live on you YouTube here. Blossoming in your mind. And you can clearly see that we are joining the Xiaomi Mi 11. That was the secret. <laughs> so this is the launch for this device. How's everyone doing this morning? It's time. Get ready. Rolling action. All right, here we go. Yo, what's up everyone in the chat? So th sh that was shot on the Mi 11, that's impressive. Hello everybody, my name is Xiao, and we're here today at the Xiaomi Technology Park. This is a Hopefully really one day I can go there. Us, and we have some huge announcements What up, what up, what up? I'm just gonna Are post this on Instagram that we're live First of and... All, I would like to share some updates on our company. Thanks to the amazing support of our Mi fans, Xiaomi is now the third largest smartphone maker in the world and the fastest growing amongst the top five. So Xiaomi's third largest. In 2020, That's we're crazy. The top five in 54 That's crazy. Smartphone markets, top three in 36, and number one in 10 smartphone markets around the world. We have built this by relentlessly investing in technology and building a culture that puts innovation at the forefront. What up, what up, what Even up? In this challenging year, we have continued to invest in R&D investments with a total of one just gonna share this. billion US dollars. Compared to three years ago, we have Boom, tripled on our R&D investment. In addition to R&D investments, our success is also down to three other tenants. Amazing products, honest prices, and of course, the passionate support of our Mi fans. Now, when we say amazing products at honest prices, we mean honest prices across all price points. We launched the Mi 10 series in March 2020. Yo, this is still one of the very it best is the Mi 11. available today. Featuring flagship 5G performance, a best-in-class camera setup, and much more. These devices were sold at an extremely appealing here. price point compared to other flagships in its category. And our most recent flagship, the Mi 10 T series. This series has been wildly successful and has set a new benchmark for what users should expect out of a flagship. At the core of these smartphones is the result of our highly innovative R&D process. What are you guys thinking? Let's take some time today. To have what are you guys thinking? Yeah, hopefully some more people join. So for me in Toronto, this is 7 a.m. Uh, so a lot of you might still be sleeping, but we can see a lot of people from the chat saying what's up from like India, Sri Lanka. That's pretty cool. So in case you're just joining in right now, we are joining the Mi 11 global launch. They feel a little like science fiction. How's everyone doing? Sri Lanka, what's up? What's this up? This is not fiction. This is technology. <sighs> This Sri Lanka, Sam, what's up? Is tested. All global mainstream operator networks are tested here. This is the song. Australia has it dope. Simulates the effects. 330 in Iran, from Trinidad, Sri Lanka, Atlanta. Yes, we've got someone from the US. 12 a.m. the UK, you guys are staying up late. The Philippines, Pakistan, Bulgaria, Romania, Thailand. Limits of human hearing. Thousands of ambient light So, oh man, so much love porn in the chat. 3 p.m. Ontario. From the Six Gang, I see you. Through perseverance and dedication. What's up? What's up, Andrew? 
just the Netherlands who brought it. How's it going, South Africa? We've got like the whole world coming into the chat here. <laughs> I love this. Is so here it is. Here's the phone. The Mi, the Mi 11. 11. These are Xiaomi laboratories. This is Xiaomi Technology Park. Xiaomi Techno. So one day when maybe travel becomes normal again, I would love to go to the Xiaomi. The park. result of our relentless R&D pursuit is industry-leading technological breakthroughs. For example, our Mi Pen Ultra. It featured groundbreaking 120 watts charging, 120 times periscope zoom, and 120 okay. hertz. So that was last year's Mi 10. And to end, 360 degree innovation. We now stand at the cutting edge of smartphone innovation. Let's zoom in on cameras specifically. In just last year, we topped the prestigious DxO Mark charts for over 120 days across the camera category. One of the ways we achieved this was through our rigorous testing process. We've automated this process using equipment like what you see here. Testing that used to take nearly four days to complete is now achieved in one single day. All right, we'll zoom in a bit here. In that single day, we'll perform more than 2,000 tests. And this is repeated and refined until our software is nearly perfect. These tests include color accuracy, focus, and much, much more. Mi 10 Pro held the number one audio score from time of launch through to the end of 2020 and beyond according to DxOMark. The sound quality from our speakers is truly world class. Okay, so number one in the DxOMark. You know, that's just a rating. That's just a rating, so we'll see. Audio testing, where we test for fidelity, quality, and above all else, user experience. All these are done in our anechoic chamber, which is probably the quietest place on earth. Another significant milestone has been 5G innovation. We released the world's yep. very first commercially available 5G smartphone so, with our Mi Mix 3. Just like this said, so a lot of people didn't know that Since the then, Xiaomi brand was the first 5G ready devices. Across nearly a dozen models. Testing for each one of our Sam seems to be quiet. Okay, I can place in push it up a little bit. 5G labs. Here we test a comprehensive Let me know in the chat, as this is my first stream, how the sound is and everything. experience across the world's most used operator networks. Optimizing 5G happens... Ooh, Ireland. Level. What's up, Sean? We test transmission speeds and antenna optimization in all conditions. Our antenna lab, by the way, looks like a scene straight out of a sci-fi... How much will it start from? So we're not really sure yet. I'll because obviously we're at the launch, but I'm sure they'll announce it. Everything well. sounds fine. At any Dope. Given time, we have close to two thousand. Where are my World of Warcraft mic here? And optimized. Brazil, what's the up? Output from this is used to optimize me this is cool. I should stream more often here. Finally, I'll display from the UK. What's up? What's up? Level as well. Our display lab is capable of simulating almost all of the natural lighting conditions that exist on our planet. From rain to sunshine, sunrise to midnight. My volume all is high. Okay, let me lower my mic a little bit. World-class display experience. Malaysia. Innovation is in our blood. Even in challenging times, this is something we'll keep pushing forward. 2020 was our most innovative year yet. And we believe 2021 will be even more so. So yeah, you can see Xiaomi Finally, had like a 108 megapixel Xiaomi sensor. An amazing 3,639% growth in the premium segment year on year. This makes Xiaomi the world's fastest growing premium brand amongst the top five. And today, we're ready to take a big step forward with a new premium product. Let's step into the spotlight. Ontario, fellow guy from uh, Ontario here. It's the an early one for you. Is on. And today is on Mi 11. I I'm using Edge because I, I want to. For 2021. I want to. Don't hate on Edge, man. Mi 11 is all Don't about hate on Edge. ready for the big stage. Let's take a look at the video shot. So Chrome actually lags a bit sometimes. I find that exhibition. Edge yeah. is a bit better for streaming video. That's what I found on my PC. If I have too many Chrome things open, 
too many chrome tabs, I find that it slows down, so I want to ensure that the stream ran as smoothly as possible. Don't hate on Edge. Show it some love. Come on. Come on. <laughs> What's up from India, the Netherlands? So in case you're just tuning in now, we are joining the Xiaomi Mi 11 launch. That was the secret smartphone. So if anyone is curious, you know, I want you to leave it in the comments what you expect from the phone. We're about to find out right now. I'm just going to post this on Twitter quickly that we're live. Man, I feel like uh, such a techie here. Six hundred pounds or under. Okay, so we're gonna take that as like the baseline. So Technolod says six hundred pounds or under. Curious if you guys think it'll hit that mark. We have created movie magic, and that is what Mi Eleven is about. Movie magic. This flagship device will let you add that little bit of magic to every video that you watch or create. At the foundation of movie magic is our studio level camera. Mi 11 features a primary okay, studio level camera. Megapixel camera, 123 degrees ultra wide and tele macro lenses. So we got the three cameras set up. Combining these 108 megapixel. That's Mi what Xiaomi was famous really for. Really lets you shoot like a director. Let's take shoot a like a director. Maybe you can make your own YouTube videos. We're on the highest quality here. Can you put the edge volume louder? Yep, I can do that. All right, we're at the highest volume here. So it's got a slow shutter. Amazing video. So one right? click AI cinema. Okay. What's really magical so usually in video, or I guess photography, you have an AI video. mode. Now that this will have Magic AI cinema for you video. Background only zoom to change perception. Time freeze lets you isolate and freeze just part of your video. Interesting. Okay, Parallel so you can live pause. Gives you a two-sided view of your scene. You can create some Inception stuff. Whilst free screen <laughs> lets you create and catch up with moving clones. Very cool. So that's, uh, you know, I think a lot of these are like TikTok inspired Time filters. I shots. need to join TikTok maybe one day. And slow shutter lets you create unique artistic blurs. All with just a single click. Beyond shooting like a director, Mi 11 will let you edit like a production studio. At a studio, some of the <laughs> you most skipped your lesson. Hopefully not, <laughs> but thank you for skipping. Correction. These are typically very time-consuming processes. Yeah, so you can technically shoot these in 4K. I think I didn't see the specs of the video, so but I'm assuming this would be in 4K. Extremely easy to use video filters in partnership with a leading video production firm. Okay, I see you. I'm saying what that. that. Is going to let you so this is the is Xiaomi Mi 11. And tonality in your films without needing a professional studio house. All right, here's the cinematic movie filters. So we've got a couple, so summer. If you guys are like me in Toronto where it's cold, we might need to use the summer filter. Where's the orange stuff? Ah, we gotta get something orange. I don't know if I have anything orange here right now, to be honest. All right, give me one sec. I'm gonna grab something orange, keep watching. So this is the bleach bypass. All right, I came back with a little orange Rubik's cube. I'll have that on the table. So this is another filter of lime. 
so these are all like movie filters. Yeah, Thik Shana, I'm saying hi. Stop spamming the chat. Specifically selected, We've got the orange Rubik's sure Cube. It's right here. I had to have something orange thing, for it? the stream. So we talked about <laughs> shooting like a director and editing like a studio. Now, let's talk about lighting. Thanks, First, Ben. Appreciate it. Massive strikes and lighting things up. Glad that you're tuning in, buddy. Night video. Enabling our night mode. So we also have here alternate night video. So now we have raw power. level. Okay, software, interesting. So we can shoot raw. raw We've got AI. And hardware such as 1.6 micron super pixel and OIS. So hardware level, we've got optical image stabilization, problem. which Let is good. What these can achieve. So let's see this. This is all the low light stuff. So obviously I'm gonna get the phone, I'll test it out myself, but I mean that looks pretty good for being shot on a smartphone. I'll save my judgment, but that looks pretty good for night shots. Mind you, we're on, like, compressed YouTube here, so... So, it's hard for me to actually incredible. full screen it because I have the chat, the YouTube chat on this side. So, on this side of the screen, I've got the YouTube chat, and then... I'll need to figure out a better streaming setup. Just bear with me. Let me bring out Daniel. Daniel? Thank you, Show. Alright, we're introducing Daniel. Mi 11 offers incredible low-light performance. We've achieved this through a variety of hardware and software optimizations. So, honey, this phone is the Mi 11 from Xiaomi. This is an area where a great number of competitor smartphones fail to perform. Low-light conditions. But, let's say it gets even darker in here. So, now, Hamed, as I said, I've got the YouTube chat there. on, like, the right it's side of my screen because I've got an ultra-wide, so I cannot, unfortunately, in extremely low light conditions. full screen it. Now it's dark in here. Okay, so but now we're completely... Mi 11 performs incredibly well, adding visibility I mean... where there would have been none. Ultra night video is a massive leap forward. Mi 11 opens okay. many okay. other flagships. In any lighting condition. So this is completely dark, but Back you can see on the phone. We'll have to test that out. Thank you, Daniel. We'll have to test that, that out. That looked kind of cool, though. Another important aspect of lighting is HDR. For a first time globally, Mi 11 will offer HDR 10 plus. Okay. What so that's becoming like industry standard now, having HDR 10 plus. Shadows so more dynamic lighting. range, obviously. So that's good. The overall good. effect is quite noticeable versus HDR10, and extremely pronounced versus previous generations. Just so you know, many competitors in this segment are not HDR10 plus capable. So make sure you are looking out for these details when making a purchase decision. Okay. And this time, we've also added Pro Time Lapse. This gives you full control of exposure, focal length, and much more. So you don't waste time while shooting time lapse. Xiaomi Studios, our fan-driven platform for video creators, has some very exciting news as well. Say Wi-Fi in Dutch. With an award so my dad, who is Dutch, um, says Wi-Fi. I always accessible. knock him for it. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> Reynold Gosset, winner of the Cannes Lions Award and our Mi 11 director. He has some words to say. All right, so maybe. Oh, oh we've, we've got a French guy. French commercial director, a Cannes Lion winner, and a creator at art. I've shot big and small production all over the world, but for me, creating is. My pup is actually still asleep because it's so early for me. It's uh, still like 7:30 in the morning. So clearly this phone is, you know, focusing around like the camera, specifically the video. So let's see what this director shot with this camera. So we've got like a little live action scene. Alright, we're on set somewhere. Obviously the director pulls out his phone. And he's like, you know what, I'm going to film my own little movie here. So... This is shot on this phone. It doesn't say. I think it must be, though. 
So you can tell here, look at that dynamic range there, right? Like it's picking up still like highlights, even though it's a really like dark scene. Right here, we barely have any light. So this is shot on the phone there. I mean, I don't know if anyone would be on that crazy rig moving in with like a phone like that, but hey, we'll give it to him. The entire film was shot on the Mi-11. Stay tuned until the end of the launch to hear more about my experience shooting this film. Interesting. So all that we just saw was shot on the Mi-11. Thank you, Raymond. That's kind of cool. Following our launch, we'll be kicking off our Xiaomi Film Festival, in which Mi creators around the world will submit their work shot on Mi-11. So, so I always love when companies do this. They can, you know, submit your own like content, and you can technically like win the win this Xiaomi Film Festival. So anything that you shoot on the device, that's pretty cool. I love the fact that like smartphone photography is coming a lot better. So here is this uh, is the sensor that we we're all kind of wondering about. This sensor is huge. 108 megapixels. than those found in competitor phones. That's crazy. This means two things. It's crazy. A lot of light. Combining that with our custom OLED 108 module, megapixels. Whoever thought we'd have that in a, a smartphone? And a 1.6 micron super pixel. This is one of the world's very best smartphone cameras. 108 megapixels gives you the maximum amount of detail, like here, in each. So you're able to like crop in. Okay. Her forehead. Yeah. Her or forehead here. looks good. <laughs> In details like the houses in this small mountain village. I really love this photo. That's a dope looking photo. Beyond that, we've included okay, an so we've ultra got wide, a 13 megapixel ultra wide. Necessity over recent years. So generally ultra wides ultra are like my angle favorite like angle. For looking up. Like here, amongst these wonderful trees. It really gives you a breathtaking perspective. Finally, we have telemacro. Now, for those of you who don't know, what the telemacro okay, does, and a telemacro, an interesting. Extremely long focal length to help determine proper depth and focus, and use it to zoom into shots like a microscope. Our telemacro lens interesting. captures beautiful no. macro photos, like this small blueberry in this glass of tea here. At the same I mean, distance, that's pretty cool. Competitor phones will miss out on a okay. huge amount of detail. So they're comparing it against the now, 12 Pro for my phone. Me 11 captures them all. Interesting. So this I'm curious who actually uses macro lenses. Like that's that's a pretty cool shot, but like realistically, like I don't know. Me eleven exceeds and outperforms in you let me know. every category versus the iPhone 12 Pro. How do I have such One neatly combed hair? Mm. That's a secret for another stream, maybe. Okay, so 30 percent faster. Fact, this is 30 percent faster than in previous generations. Our night mode okay. improvements are not limited to ultra night video. We have also taken. I mean, a does 108 megapixels a mean such level. anything on small sensor? You know, I think that's a bit of a marketing gimmick, to be honest. But having more megapixels, you know, you go back and forth. Me 11 will still it, it's night it's mode good. You know, like you can get like but more detail technically, but like you said, such a small sensor. It's all around like the software, but you this know, from what we've seen so far, some of those mode. photos, especially and video, looked uh, look pretty angle, crispy. You need. With one of the world's best 108 megapixel camera, 8K, and some of our most advanced. So here's some of the camera. the features here. Me so 11 click this. Me 11. So movie magic. It's level. all around, I guess, the Me 11. Next. So we can record an 8K HDR 10 plus telemacro. Mi 11 is star quality on display. Okay, so this is the display. This is always For my Mi favorite 11, part of any launch. We have a new resolution. This resolution. So is this phone comes in two colors: HD+, the black and the blue. Which stands for w wide quad high definition. Wide quad high definition. WQHD Plus, simply put, is nearly double the resolution of the typical smartphone display. 1515 ppi 3200 by 1440 pixels per inch making it one of the most detailed displays in the entire world okay in practice this is going to massively increase the individual detail of everything you see from apps to images interesting to make the most of this we've added 
super resolution. So I'm curious yes. what... It's upscaling technology. Okay, so they're upscaling. Which can up the triple the resolution of videos you see, including those found on YouTube, Netflix, and more. So I'm curious what the refresh rate is since we have such a high-res display. Extrapolating video data in real time at the pixel level. So depending on like the video quality, you can upscale with to say 1440. of 120 hertz. Okay. Paired with an AMOLED panel. This is one of our best displays ever. Okay, so it's still like a WQHD display with 120 hertz. We've used a four stage Okay, so it's adaptive, adaptive. okay. This gives us a variety of refresh rates that automatically adjusts the content so, you know, we see this in most phones these days, like you can kind of, it'll be adaptive. So depending on what you're doing, so see scrolling gaming, 480 hertz, 120 hertz. Mi 11 offers the highest touch sampling in the market. So touch sampling, that's like how, when you well, like touch a phone, know, how quickly like it, I guess, reacts. Mi 11 detects your touch per second. Depends how fast you can click. Happens, the world's best selling tablet. The iPad. What's up? What's up? So price range uh, and 5G, we're still waiting. I'm pr obviously 5G, definitely. Um, price, I'm sure they'll announce that at the very end. At 200. What this means for you is that on the 11, your strokes what's up? and touches Ramal? are going to be extremely accurately detected. Your touches will be extremely WQHD accurately detected. <laughs> 120 hertz AMOLED and okay. 480 hertz touch sampling make a great display. But we wanted to make sure that this display was of cinematic quality. I woke up really so early. So for me, this is like first. seven, what time is it? 7.30 a.m. now, first, so it's early. We use a cutting edge. Okay, so it's got 1500 nits brightness. So that's pretty bright, this that's impressive. Incredible specs with 20% higher peak brightness. And a so if you're just tuning in, um, it's a WQHD. So that's a wide, Quad HD, kind of like that. Can view the HDR 10 plus video and shoot. of course, it's got Me a 120 hertz adaptive HDR screen 10 plus display rate, as well. and you can shoot an We've HDR 10 plus. To offer 10 bit color, which features more than 1 billion colors. Me 11 offers so 10 bit color, that's impressive. Than competing so as as like an example, smartphones. say like my Sony camera right now is yeah. only still 8 bit, so that's impressive. You can clearly see a difference in how it processes gradient colors yep, yep. with Mi 11 offering a very smooth, real gradient. Ramal, yeah, this is the global launch. Compares, Mi 11 offers a Delta E and Hey JNC Finn, just joining. This is the Xiaomi Mi 11 phone. Respectively. So powered by, we're still Much curious on what the, the hardware is inside. I'm sure we'll JNC find out soon. Found in the iPhone 12 Pro. Bringing all AMOLED together, is coming back, yeah. I can yep. confidently say that Mi 11 is setting a new cinematic standard. Mi 11 yes, has been awarded a huge it is. honor by one of the industry's I'm drinking a soda water for anyone wondering. Organizations. This play me. Yeah, I would this definitely do that daily drive, Siraj. So I've got this phone incoming, so I'll give you guys like my full review. This and is a massive achievement. It's interesting. Xiaomi is bringing like a lot of value, of but still having like some pretty high hardware specs. Beyond winning the best display award, we also set okay, new records okay, new for records. display performance across 13 categories. I mean, yeah, I could These do live streams more more often if you guys like them, then yeah, for sure. And cover top level details like peak brightness, color accuracy, and visible resolution. Display quality has been a core. We'll have 5G, yep, yes, us. Joe. And we are very happy Ramal, to you're to you. Effing up the chat there, buddy. Come on, magic. tone it down. And that standard. So right here, you can see the display. They're comparing it to the 12 Pro, which I've got right here. We put it next to the iPhone 12 Pro, so you can compare. So let's see here. Oh, that went away too quick. Every movie soundtrack. <laughs> when we watch movies using our smartphones, we want high quality sound to match the amazing display as well. This is why Mi 11 features sound by Harman Kardon. A world leader in audio one sec here. with nearly 70 years of history. We've worked tirelessly together to ensure that the high quality speakers in Mi 11 are flawlessly tuned for your listening pleasure. Let's okay, listen. so it's got Harman we'll Kardon speakers. Premium sound. 
is the marriage of art and technology. So I always think that sound is more important than actual Melody video quality. Speakers. So the they're partnering with Harmon Carden. Harmon Carden have been committed to No, nope, we don't know the price yet. So I'm sure they'll sound. announce that at the very end. Every Harmon Carden logo is precious. Representing the world. Well, Nadal, um, golden good job. Denoting an adjustment of each and every detail. Oh my goodness. The filters of Harman Kardon sound. With the ability to discern individual sounds. So it has a Q W Q W H T? What did they call it? No, a W Q H D display. <laughs> when the rich artistic heritage of Harman Link approves of the phone. Meets the modern, innovative technology. That's good. That's good that my dog approves of the phone. The result? Is exceptional sound with a personal touch. The expertise of Golden Ear engineers ensures every detail is tuned to artistic perfection. Today's innovations make every bit of audio more realistic. I mean, the 11 high quality stereo speakers allow every sound to immerse you in the story. And with audio sharing, you can share the joy of premium That's impressive. With your loved ones. That's impressive. This is premium audio. Tune yes, WQHD Plus. Television. Yep. This is the perfect marriage of art and technology. This is Me 11. Me 11. Okay, cool. 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 I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to try. So I checked my uh, tracking and it's on the way. I think it's arriving tomorrow. Worthy of all your favorite. So that'll be dope. Paired with the tuning of Harman Thank you, Kardon, Sean. I approve. A pair of excellent dual speakers. Yeah. So dual speakers. But we also so that's good that, that we've got one on the top, one on the bottom. Experience. That's why we're offering something very, very cool. Dual headphone and speaker support via Bluetooth 5.2. Dual what headphone speaker, okay. is that you can connect the two Bluetooth devices to your Mi 11. So for example, so now you can you share your headphones with speakers, your significant other. Place them in different corners of your room to give you a very different sound experience. Or two sets of headphones so you can listen comfortably with your friend or significant other. I mean, I've never done that personally. Mi 11 I've never tried that. Great audio. Mi 11 is designed for the big stage. To share some thoughts on our new design philosophy. Oh. Let's switch over to Daniel in our studio where the magic happens. Ramal, please, just keep the chat chill, buddy. Thank you, show. Like, oh my goodness. Hey all, chill. Daniel here. We're here in one of our Xiaomi design studios to talk about the Mi 11 design vision. Putting you in timeout. Now, first, one of the most important things we considered is how it feels in hand. Some devices intuitively feel better. So this Those is are some thick headphones. In designing our new flagship. Next, we right. knew we wanted to be curved. We offer some pretty incredible flat screen devices, but a huge percentage of people greatly prefer curved for the way that it feels in hand. And designing <laughs> it to be curved. I gave him a timeout. Didn't block him. Them more <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, putting more people in timeout here. Lastly, we wanted it to be unique, but subtly so. If you keep spamming in the chat, to you're gonna be uh, elegantly different. You're gonna be putting timeout. <laughs> Because yeah, I actually love design. these drawings. I love drawing, like design a work. Bit um, yeah, this is a core goal if they the could send me these, that would be pretty cool. I love like design studios like this. I think they're so the dope. Into how we do things at Xiaomi. CMF. Is Yo, I I put Safat and timeout. Don't mind him. Down to even colors. While designing Mi 11, these colors here are just what made it halfway. After we experimented. <laughs> okay, so this colors. is all the colors. We do this because even colors can be refined to be better and better and better. Interesting. Now, in creating these colors, we use extremely advanced processes. For the blue version here. So if anyone was wondering, you have two different, uh, two different colors. Over top of a luminescent gold. So Finally, blue over gold. The color appears uniform, but appears different at different angles. The final colors, horizon blue. Horizon blue, okay. And midnight gray. Are breathtaking. And mint they said and midnight maybe equally important for some of you. They're highly resistant. <laughs> it was almost like that gray was like put in after now, the no fact. Color is key. That looks so like black to me, but okay, available. we'll give it to them. Such midnight gray. Incredibly elegant white. And then white will be available. Now, <laughs> as I said, 
We were sure that we wanted a curved device. We're, uh, we're recording we this studio right now. So, As you can see, we've got like the little bits of orange here. Sides. Every edge on the front. Oh, 100% the front. that gray was That's edited. Total it's curves. like midnight black and they're just like midnight melded gray. For the optimum experience. <laughs> now with this, Something people often Tomas, you have the Mi 9 so the and it's still a beast. Level, that's uh, that's dope. That ensures you're not accidentally touching the screen. CMF, though, is a key element of the design process. The M in this means... Uh, so I'm actually getting both. Areas. I'm getting both the blue and feels better, gray, whatever they call it, black. Resilient. So uh, when I do so my actual like unboxing, I'll, I'll give one away to you guys. Maybe I'll give one whoever was tuning into the stream to reward you. So we've used the toughest Corning Gorilla Glass yet. Gorilla Glass Victus. <laughs> Gorilla Glass Victus will survive drops on the rough, hard surfaces. Okay, so it's got Gorilla meters. Glass this will Victus. Cover your full height. Nice. Competitive aluminum silicate glasses from other manufacturers will typically damage when dropped from more than 0 0.8 meters. So, Mi 11 display is okay, protected dope. from more than twice that's good, that's the good. drop distances. Additionally, the scratch resistance is four times better than competitive glasses. This um, makes Mi 11. Will these be good for people in Toronto? You know what? It's all depending on the price. Like, Xiaomi is bringing some pretty decent value. So we're going to tune in and see what the price is at the end. 0.9 millimeters thinner. 0.9 mils thinner. than the previous generation. Okay, so that's razor thin. Jeez, that's a thin phone. Like our colors, we put a lot of effort into the senpai notices of the design. Now, the camera module, in many ways, is the thing that separates one phone from another. So we work tirelessly on this halo design. With how we interact with the world on social media, our cameras have become a new way to see the world. And we really wanted this halo design to reflect this. Once we decided on the Philo halo design, we right, iterated so we've got that halo camera. dozens okay. of minute differences in the halo. Finally, ending with a single piece of glass. Now this single piece of glass doesn't feature any small gaps in between the layers. Okay. Inside, we trim the corner of our 108 megapixel camera module. This ensures that we can reduce the size of the camera bump to its minimum thinness. This allows us to curve the rear of the glass without increasing the size of the camera module. Okay. Now, okay. we thought deeply about the meaning behind each and every element. For the speaker design, we thought long and hard on exactly- Like, I love drawings like that. Particularly without Harman Kardon sound backing. So rather than using generic uniform holes, we decided to emulate the form of audio waves. I mean, that's a little detail. That's pretty cool. Now, so an audio wave headphone, or sorry, audio wave study, speaker. Great. And learning. That's pretty this badass. This is the bleeding edge of what we do here at Xiaomi. It's designed to be um, I actually went to U of T, University right of Toronto. So these are all the uh, standouts, like the specs for, now, I guess, for the design. Person, that's something special. It's going to be something different. Whether it's the unique color. The sleek yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. The new way to process the world or the attentiveness to detail. Maybe it's just the sleek smoothness of it all. Mi 11 is designed for the spotlight. So I totally agree that like little things are like important. So that uh, waveform, the audio waveform uh, speaker grill. was the world's very first smartphone. I think that's pretty dope. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. What makes this processor Okay, so we got, yep, this was the first Snapdragon 888. That's pretty dope. 5G support and groundbreaking five nanometer processing. So confirmed, we already five knew though, it's got 5G, five nanometers. Precise and advanced smartphone manufacturing process. Um, so the speakers are actually dual facing. So you've the got one on top and then one on the bottom. It's a custom architecture solution that offers significantly enhanced performance. This allows an overall increase of 30% in performance versus previous generation. This okay. is supported by three A78 cores, which offer 20% better sustained speeds. What it basically Yeah, we know that the Snapdragon 888 is pretty dope. Together, V11 features our greatest n score of all time at an incredible 745,000. What do I v11 smell like? It's really ready to power your performance. I love chatting with you guys. This is hilarious. Of, if not the very best device for mobile gaming, <laughs> this GPU sports a performance improvement. Okay, so the Adreno 660 for its GPU. And offer support for 10 so yeah, it's got like the latest silicone in it. To celebrate the launch of Mi 11, 
we will begin a collaboration with the most popular mobile game of the year. Raid Shadow Game Legends. Friend. Who thinks? Genshin Impact. <laughs> if that would have been Raid Shadow Legends, I would have lost it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never played this game. I should definitely download it. It looks kind of cool. All of that glitters. Genshin Impact. I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna give that a try. Offers great Genshin performance. Um, what is my price prediction? Mihoyo. To give you a better and I mean, if we saw this experience. under 750, I'd be stoked. I don't know. We'll see. Today is more than about ah, Mi We'll see. We are also giving you an update of MIUI. To tell you a bit more, let me pass things off to Abby. I don't know. I'm saying 750. Let me know what you guys think. If it's under 750, like, I think this is a pretty serious, like, contender. Thank you, Sho. Hey, everyone. My Joe. name is Abby. Last May, Miss your other you lecture. Stay tuned to the live stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks for joining, buddy. We'll see you soon. Different advancements like a new control center and system optimization. A thousand nine hundred. You can start getting ready. Like I'm saying, 750 USD. So yeah, our dollar sucks. So yeah, thousand Canadian. Based on UI I mean, 750 would be pretty impressive. Six ninety nine. And in order to deliver an optimized system experience. We've rewritten our entire system UI. Okay, so a lot of people have complained before about, I guess, like all the bloat tests, over uh, is reduced by up to MIUI. While power so that's good that they're kind of rewriting that. That's good. This lets you enjoy a lighter, smoother experience. Obviously, with significantly not as good as stock Android, UI. but it's good to see Tech that Xiaomi is making that as an example. change to make it smoother. In previous systems, gestures and other tasks are rendered on a single thread this means gestures compete for 299 CPU usage if this is 299 zero. this would be the With best smartphone of the year CPU usage, opening if this was or switching between apps may become less smooth and laggier than you'd hope with UI 12.5 we've prioritized these gestures by rendering a dedicated thread the advantage here is okay. that gestures will be competing for CPU resources <laughs> with other For all the people apps. saying 299, it's like having a dedicated <laughs> shout out for Phoenix. Phoenix, I would love to move to Phoenix one day, actually. This makes your system experience smoother and faster than ever. Get out of the cold in Toronto. Next, we believe this is something that our Mi fans would truly, truly love. With MIUI 12.5, most system apps could be uninstalled, as we can see here in the middle. And some app package are included in the system core, okay, but their okay. icons can I mean, be hidden as well. You know, a lot of people did complain that. And compared to I'm other operating this system, MIUI 12.5 is as simple as it gets. If you don't want it, simply uninstall it. So yeah, a lot of people complained that uh, you know, Mi phones had too much bloatware. It's dope that you know they're kind of reducing that. So you can install it on all these devices. Okay, okay, I see you, Jami. I see you. And for our second wave, we'll be pushing for updates to more I than see you. eleven different Xiaomi devices. The release schedule for other devices. Okay, so here you are UI getting a nice so timeout, sure buddy. Tuned. Now back to the timeout. To make the most of our leading hardware and software experience. Timeout. Mi 11 improves the Wi-Fi 6 experience. Wi-Fi is an area of constant Okay, so it's got Wi-Fi 6. Okay, us. dope. And this is more than your standard incremental... Should I wait to buy a new phone? You're thinking of a 21 Ultra. Should I want this one? Honestly? So my review unit, I think it's on the way. It's coming, I think, in a day or two. So, you know, I'll do my full testing. Like, this looks impressive, but every launch, they, you know, highlight the best of the phone. So they seem to be comparing it a lot to the 12 Pro Max, which is, you know, the phone that I have now. Um, I mean, that's interesting. So now they're obviously testing out the connection. They're in a pretty dope soccer stadium, football stadium, I should say. Let's see, a little speed test here. Okay. Okay.
They're really showing it to the iPhone there, eh? 659 versus 358. 161 meters from the router. Let's see what we got here. I mean, we already kind of know what's going to happen. Alright, so clearly it crushed the iPhone <laughs> in connection. And now they're going to take it up in a drone. Um, I'm actually streaming from my PC, which I've streamed to do some gaming before. Wi-Fi 6 on Mi 11 is fast. It's fast. Speaking of speed, fast. Mi 11 will let you charge for it into the spotlight. I honestly thought they were going to bring out like Usain Bolt well, as like a spokesperson. Markets, it's fast. Fast as Usain Bolt. Wired charging. That would have been kind of cool. This allows a full <laughs> battery charge in just 45 minutes. Okay, yeah, 0 to 145 minutes. Empty 0% charge. 55 watt supercharger. Okay. Wireless charging max speeds have typically lagged behind wire. And this is something we wanted to improve on. So they're going to have like a wireless ultra this is charger why here. We are offering 50 watts wireless charging in Mi 11. That's kind of cool. This will juice you so up. So 50 watts wireless minutes, charging. And vastly outcharges competitor flagships. Yep. So wireless charging 0 to 153 to minutes. Oh, I knew it. I was just going to say, I bet they're going to compare it against the iPhone. Flagships. Competitive flagships, aka the iPhone. It is less than half the time. <laughs> this is key when you need a full battery in a rush. Uh, so drop test, Especially I don't think so. They said that it'll have Gorilla Glass uh, Victus, so that's kind of good to know. We're sorry to say yeah, the Ultra is 45 watt, I think. I think. 55 watt is a lot. Oh, wait. This is oh, because, I was like, they're not including a charger. A number of those already. Oh, another dig at Apple. <laughs> I love it. Including a 55 I love it. Gallium nitride charger. <laughs> we realize that very few people have chargers. So, this so 55 watt charger in the box. One of the best things about That's a 55 hilarious. watt stand charger is that it is capable. I mean, of I think that should be standard. Hundred percent, that should be standard. Gaming consoles. And smartphones. So you can charge a gaming console. That's compact, that's crazy. At about half the size. So, yeah. So the charger, it's in the box. Targets. You can use that to charge like your laptop. They said even like a console. Charging. Fifty-five watts in box. As you can see, charger. boom! Right there, in box. In box. Thank you. 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 Which is useful to use your phone to charge the GAN charger. Let's get it. We believe <laughs> this is truly a world class. Charging experience. Okay, okay. Another iPhone comparison. Going, we've also included 4,600 4, milliamps. Decent. Milliamps big battery. This yeah, is more nothing than crazy. 100 milliamp hours bigger than some typical flagship phones. Looking at you, iPhone. <laughs> I called it. I called it. Holy shit, that's hilarious. Okay, so they're, they're comparing against the 12 Pro. You're like, I have the 12 Pro Max. It's a bigger battery, but that is hilarious. The 11 is ready to power your That is hilarious. This is probably the very best. No headphone jack. I haven't seen that. No. 2021. We have a few final Easter eggs for you. Okay, Easter eggs, my favorite things. Or even thought about having in a smartphone before. What do you think the Easter eggs are going to be? First, we have okay. heart rate monitoring. Let me show you. In display heart rate monitor. That's kind of cool. I bet this guy definitely what has heart rate max. 81? No chance that's real. There's no way. This guy's doing this like live launch. He's definitely got a heart rate of like 150. There's no way. If this guy has a heart rate or a heart rate of 81 while he's doing this launch, this is the most calm dude in the world. We've innovated even further here. But good for him. Good for him. Higher maximum vibration and a shorter start stop time for fine tuned, sophisticated feels. We've even enhanced our audio during video recording. Typical smart. All right, Nabila, you're going on timeout. Something wonderful. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? will pick up lots of background oh, noise. I was like, what was that? Mi 11, however, uses an AI algorithm to isolate voice. Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. Okay, so it isolates like so voice, so you don't hear like hear external distractions, okay. Which leads to a much more 
high quality. Uh, I actually play the saxophone video. weirdly. Yeah, there's no way. 81 Finally, beats per minute. Health is still paramount. No. So we no. included an antibacterial case. Stunt and ready in box. box. What does that mean? Stunt Mi ready. Mi 11 is an incredible phone. Let's take a look. So it comes with a case and a screen protector in the box. Okay. Nice little extras. I would say that's not really an Easter egg. So I think this is kind of like summing up all the highlights. So we've got like obviously the video mode. It can shoot really well in low light. Harman Kardon sound, dope, with the waveform speaker grill. I think that's the coolest thing. So this is the display, WQHD, 120 Hz adaptive screen refresh rate. The two different colorways, the blue and the black. Finally, let's talk about prices. Prices, here we go. Get your guesses in, peeps. Movie magic. Get your guesses in. With 108 megapixels that lets you Please. shoot like a director. Under a 750. Hertz, no headphones. No headphones included. Display. I don't think. Premium two layer so here, take a screenshot of this. This is all of the features. The fast and 5G connected Snapdragon 888 and some of the fastest charging speeds available. Ask away, ask away. Okay, prices. Get your get your guesses in here. You 699, 700. Over a thousand euros. Okay. But for those of you who know us, nine ninety nine. Of course, no, so of course, all of you, <gasps> you know that we believe in honest prices. So me eleven will start at seven hundred and forty nine. Oh, that's what I said. I said less than seven fifty. You check your local. I said less than seven fifty. We're working to make me eleven available as widely. As I should have written it in the chat. I got that. that. So seven forty nine euros. A um, of global carriers. So. In reality, Such that's probably 750 USD, 900 to 1,000 Canadian. Okay, I think that's I think that's pretty decent, honestly. That is pretty decent. So 750, pretty pretty decent. For those of you who prefer to purchase online, we'll be offering a zero percent interest monthly installment plan. Okay, so I'm going to kind of mute this now. We can chat quickly. Please stay tuned for more All right. So I think, oh, the two-year warranty. Okay, so let's quickly chat about this phone. Um, you know, I think that brings a lot of value, 750 bucks. Like that's pretty decent for what you're getting. You're getting like the latest silicone. Obviously you're getting like a, what do they call it? A WQHD display. I will be testing this out. I'm actually getting both devices, I think, both the black and the blue. So in my full review, I'll be giving away to, I'm gonna keep it to whoever's watching the stream. I had a lot of fun actually doing this stream. So thanks to everyone that was in the chat um, in the UK. So that's 750 pounds. I'm going to answer a couple questions here. Salma, please ask a question. I mean, you know, compared to the Mi 10, I would say maybe not as big of an upgrade, but you know, they're really focusing on like the video. Stay tuned. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this, so I, f I oh, last one last tease. Okay, we got to turn up back the volume up. An extremely limited special edition. A limited edition Global. phone. Oh, I got to get this one. It's the Mi 11 Legion Special Edition. Legion? This extremely limited edition is going to be available in extremely limited quantities very soon. Ooh, that's kind of dope. So Mi 11 is incredible. I like that back. Anyways, <clears throat> the gray, yeah, yeah, the gray, black. Uh, I didn't see any pro variant, so all I saw was this. Um, remember, they also had the white one coming out at a later date. Um, would you recommend this for a small YouTuber? Ah, uh, you know, once I get my device, I'll do like full testing, so stay posted. I'll do like my full review, of course. Uh, you know, thanks for everyone in the chat. So much fun doing this live stream. I uh, I should do more often, honestly. Uh, just, you know, reading all your comments has been great. Um, I think that's it. Okay, no one wants to see the TV stuff, or at least that's not the point of this. Uh, big thanks to everyone. So if you miss this, you know, entire stream, I'll kind of pin the top comment on what all of the main features of the Mi 11 are. Um, I'm going to quickly just close this. All you guys were flaming me for using um, Edge, but I, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm going to put my Streamlabs back. 
thanks to everyone in the stream. Uh, had a yeah, ton of fun, and stay posted for my full review. I got to stream more often, guys. Love you all who uh, you know who kind of tuned in. And what processor does it have? This is the last question. It's got the Snapdragon 888. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much got the latest silicone. So stay tuned in for the full review. Thanks to everyone in the live stream. We'll catch you guys uh, in the next one.